stopping them. Checkpoints are all over. Run. We're pulling out. Okay, I'm coming. Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. <sighs> He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? You should have bugged out with your friends. Welcome to my world, you stupid son of a bitch. St. John, this is Cope. When you get to the tower, our radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you for story. So these men, you know them because shutting down radio free organ seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. Now well, they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. One more thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Cope out. Do what you can, son of a bitch. <gasps> Needed this. Hey, Boozer. I, uh... Found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Oh, ah! Jump! Hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Holy You're blowing your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. Come on, all right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. What did you do? What's that? 
Who's out there? Oh, I am on left. Finally. Use this. Who's out there? Okay. What heck was that? Shit, empty. Huh? What? <laughs> This more than you. Generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, though, would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! See if they got an underground bunker around here. Bunker, yes. Here it is. Riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. Deke, you! 
okay? You don't sound like like yourself. It's not, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. Yes. I let her go. One of these days, Deke. That code of yours is gonna get you killed. Yeah. Well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right. Let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No. God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit. Try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get in shape. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, shit's killing me. There we go. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down. I've restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> I'll cope. The only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're Man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. We'll find out when I get there. Get it out. Who's man? You were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. Oh. Get out.
Loser, he's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke, I should have been there. <laughs> to help, I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're we'll riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Loser out. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the... The cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find the hot stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. Stop by when I can. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skin rogues in this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Tell those good people fought for this very country. Have the fits forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD it doesn't stand for post traumatic stress disorder, it stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now, living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination trust in each other. The feds were never going to give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. Oh, this is Mark Copeland right. from Radio Free Oregon. Finish burning out this infestation zone. Don't believe the lies.
place up. Then he just took off. Then he said his back's got a red tank on it. And he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet. Silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. Fetch him. So, uh, what, what were you saying? Alive! You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that lamp. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. None taken. I'll find them. You gotta be close to a nest. Quiet, smell it. No, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Dee. I'm gonna need a few Molotovs. Uh, Dee, wait till tonight. There'll be fewer freaks inside those nests. <laughs> Man, no. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, take care of Alvarez, you know. Dig. Me 
means a lot to me. Take care of her. Those are just get some rest. Deacon out. Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. Nests. To use as we I gotta see clear them out. To provide oh, for ourselves and our families. Here. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. But the nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have come down lately. Way down. Only problem is you gotta find it yourself. And last I checked, there were plenty of assholes out here trying to take... Leon. Uh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> got it. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna get this to. Who's man? Are you listening? Uh, I'm not going 
believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. Chopper? You're a chopper! Just walked right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Woo! I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Woo! Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. friends now. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? 
We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, we see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Can't go right. Can't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your I'm regular right. run-of-the-mill freaks. Right. These are stage three. They're sleeping like babies, Sarah. And I asked if you were going in. Can't, can't be. Didn't say I was. These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors of the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was full bar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. See the caves? Yeah, right. Like anyone gives a damn.
Okay. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke. Hey, I'm here. When we rode on a farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. You wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you... You went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. No. Not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Hey, get out. Cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. There we go. Shit out here again. Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Ah! <laughs> 
can use this. off figures. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time to crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men will shut you in sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus. Copeland, get out! One last ambusher, yeah?
the MMU. Wonder what Nero left behind this time. Here it is. Another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down and make it safer. Hello, squatter camp. The sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? Deer crossing, ah, something's never changed. Infestation zone. Good. Come 
back later and finish burning out these nests. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. Telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. Twenty-five feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength, it'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit. He's in the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone Come on, and brought him in? Get to work. The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? Said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep this shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here, with men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. 
Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. What the hell? Get back to work. Hey, back to work. Alkai. Okay. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Good choice. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. <sighs> now I just got to figure out who I'm going to give this to. We can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. 